मिनिस्टर इंक्रीज द डैमेज फॉर नॉट स्मॉल मार्केट दे आर रिव्यूइंग विश्वम उड दिस शॉट आई शाम इन द बिल श्री सुशील कुमार गुप्ता नॉट प्रेजेंट बहुत शाह आपने हुकुम किया श्री मधुसूदन मिस्त्री I understand this bill is brought mainly uh, keeping the members of parliament in mind those who are living in a lutens zone as in the past there were lot of criticism of people occupying the premises for a longer time I want certain clarification I would be very happy if the minister can make it sir <coughs> will you just please please go to your seat mr uh, advice sir uh, i was a chairman house committee lok sabha for a full term in a 14th lok sabha or more 6 month after and i have encountered many problems what it the bill doesn't explain is if you want to vacate the houses which is occupied by the members of parliament after their term is expired a that the chairman of the house committee is working on behalf of the either a speaker or a chairman of the house whether it is a rajya sabha or it is a lok sabha when while in my term some of the mps and, and the government has you know went uh, went to the high court and high court has sorry supreme court and supreme court has asked us to provide the information about that how many mps are staying in the houses whose term is expire illegally now technically they are not illegal as such because there is a provision or there is a system in rajya sabha and lok sabha that we provide accommodation as a guest accommodation to the sitting mp and the sitting mp on the name of the sitting mp the ex mps are staying and license fee are paid by the sitting mps so technically they are not illegal occupier as such number 2 we refuse to give information to the supreme court saying that we have a privilege we work under the chairman and the speaker of the lok sabha and rajya sabha only on the order of the speaker and the chairman we can provide this and they don't they are not covered by the supreme court order so sir any premises which is in the pool of a lok sabha or rajya sabha which is given as a guest accommodation if it is on occupied by the next mp is not an illegal occupation as far as you know i know it very well <coughs> no number 2 sir there was a issue at that time that we were charging a very little or a less very i mean nominal a license fee there was some 800 rupees for a guest accommodation for a flat in south avenue or in a north avenue in a house committee because there was so much of a pressure from the ex mps on individual mps of the lok sabha that to you take the guest accommodation and allow us to stay in the house committee we decided that we will increase the license fee so that at least you know this demand of you know having a guest accommodation is goes down and it it happens sir that once the license fee has increased those who kept 
the you know flats for a longer time even after becoming or not getting elected or as an ex mp they begin to vacate it because they can't afford that money i think one flat at that time was a 18000 rupees before that it was only 800 rupees that by increasing the uh, you know the license fee we did that other things which has happened normally in a tendency of the uh, you know the officers uh, who are in either a state department under the pressure of that or something that when the term is to come an end they normally go with the chairman asking that they would transfer some of the flat from lok sabha pool to general pool there are three pools sir one is a general pool one is a lok sabha pool and one is a rajya sabha pool thereby taking some of the you know the flats on you know diverting into a general pool you know the assets and in a general pool once it goes it just stop and then there is a shortage of houses even for mps there are two more things sir the estate officer come in picture to vacate the houses of the you know members of parliament or ex ex members of parliament only when the chairman order to vacate it when the chairman orders to vacate because they go on giving the period you know 3 months 6 months so on and so forth they come in picture and once even this there were instances whereby chairman chairman has to revert their decision of saying okay allow him her or her for a little bit 3 months more and so on and so forth one more thing mr minister for you how would you stop the influences of high and mighties who are been staying there either your party or my party hang on it will come i have given an accommodation to the some of those who are sitting in this house as a ministers at that time when they were non ministers so some of them are yeah i mean that's it those who came and say i'm not divulging the name those who to come to me and saying that my you know political career will finish if i don't live in delhi lutians did it there are a lot of people i don't want to name uh, you know but accommodation after the you know you cease to become a member of parliament and those who are on the of a uh, position especially on the uh, uh, occupying the uh, position uh, higher position either in a party or where in a government as a minister and so on they want to stay here there's a lot of pressure the pressure of the organization in which they are coming then i think there are a lot of ngos people who are also been staying in as a guest accommodation you know in uh, which is on the name of the uh, lok sabha mps i typical name a uh, name i mean uh, n- n- uh, know the incidents whereby i given an accommod- guest accommodation to one of the mps who was then involved in uh, the, you know sending those people from uh, 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 here to america and thereby I just leave it what kabutar baji or whatever you call it and i refuse i say i, I told my friend who was taking the guest accommodation why you need this and he say no 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 he is a good fellow this and that and so on so forth one more point sir all number of the you know the flats and and the you know the, the, the servants quarters garages there are lot of activities just goes on someone has given it to laundry someone is running a shop someone is been hire someone is sublet so on and so forth someone has in you know, on created you know un- authorized construction uh, we have the list we prepare the list you can't act on that is very difficult to you know the uh, act on the uh, 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 this thing sir so that's another thing you know that you will have to uh, encounter in you know, the uh, way there is no rule for a guest accommodation under uh, it is not under you it is under some some uh, you have in a western court and you know this uh, in a western court some of the premises or rooms are been on the nave for a lok sabha and for rajya sabha some of the room and maybe for a general uh, you know the uh, 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 pool also it may be coming at her fee was very nominal it would literally become a kind of a 
adda were some of the people there who stay all the time we stop it where by putting the police and other things and so on but they are there they were there now if your intention is solely to or the administration intention is solely to to see to it that those who have lost the election and are been occupying you know it and if it is under the guest accommodation then you have to strike the guest accommodation otherwise you or your estate officer will not be able to vacate those houses i am pretty you know the uh, sure of uh, uh, you know the uh, those thing last point i want to make it sir there was a lot of halla gulla in the press you know this this flats are saying if you look at the condition of these flats i am a mason we are masons we have work i ask simply a question how much space that you are providing to each mp sir i just calculated it is not more than 110 meters all these flats there you know ceilings are leaking plasters are coming out sometimes on it hit the head yeah and we spend crores and crores of rupees for you know maintenance every year i put a proposal is much better that you get the house rent allowed to the mps some 50000 or 60000 rupees ask them to stay anywhere and you construct either or you know you discard these houses that is called luton's john what is in luton's john i don't know because my house is my has a you know the two two room and a flat and so on is a either a 110 or 130 you know the yard or 140 yard and so on you don't have a space to work you don't have a space to provide even a guest accommodation to a member i know i know the brahmaputra which has been now has a little bit of a good accommodation and made in a new well there were other two bungalows which were the you know uh, uh, scrap and then they were you know constructed a new one when i was uh, we gave approval you know at that time now these are the things you would as a minister of the urban development will be able to responsible simply to see the general pool where the ministers you, you where you provide you know the accommodation to the minister you will be responsible to get those houses you know the vacated i have my own doubt sir that this will be applicable to the members of parliament those who are staying in a guest accommodation and i would be very happy to see to it because i have seen some of the people who vacated you know more, many of them was i mean large number of them vacated them you know after one or two months in the so but there can't be a cohesion cohesions like the other thing where you are forced to go it in a next three days and four days and so you know so on i think keep that in mind and see to it that it goes smoothly otherwise this is a very handy subject Thank you, Mr. in the hands of the press people who would like to always write against the mps and if you have brought this bill keeping the mps in Thank mind you. then i don't think you will be achieve your goal thank, thank you, you very Mr. much thank you mr ji for sharing your experiences